Well, John MacArthur is in trouble again. And this time, he's in trouble for saying something against Martin Luther King Jr. Let's give that clip a listen to what he said. And the strange irony was a year later, they did the same thing for Martin Luther King, who was not a Christian at all, whose life was immoral. I'm not saying he didn't do some social good, and I've always been glad that he was a pacifist or he could have started a real revolution. But you don't, you don't honor a non-believer um, who misrepresented everything about Christ and the gospel in an organization alongside honoring somebody like R.C. Sproul. Of course, that clip sparked an outrage, and it outraged one preacher in particular that went at MacArthur during his service, during the preaching time. He was supposed to be preaching on Psalm 115, but he ended up saying this. This is Charlie Bates, pastor of Salem Baptist Church of Chicago. I've been thinking a lot this week about, as I do every week really, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. If I got a chance to meet one person, the Lord said, hey, so you get to meet one person who went to heaven before. Which, by the way, John MacArthur, he did go to heaven. And he was a Christian. And we ain't going to tolerate all of this foolishness from white evangelical pulpits trying to deny the integrity of our leaders. And I hope somebody sent this to you, man, because I tried to tell you before, if you ain't going to raise a finger to help us get the right to vote, to live where we want to live, to go to school where we want to go, keep Martin King's name out of your mouth, bruh. I'm so angry I could cry. There are people leaving right now. Dr. King been dead for 50 years right now. So he was not a Christian. Who are you? The tree is known by the fruit it bears. And I don't want y'all going to YouTube while I'm preaching. You can look at it later. But, but I need y'all to help cut that clip and send it to him. Tag his name on, on that. Well, I am certainly not a Martin Luther King Jr. scholar. And in fact, he was long gone before I was even born. But an article by Joe Carter put out by the Gospel Coalition, he goes on to write that Martin Luther King held to some very unorthodox views. For instance, in that article, he writes that in a systematic theology paper, he cast down the doctrines of divine sonship of Jesus Christ, the virgin birth, and other views that are basic to Christianity. For instance, we'll quote uh, Martin Luther King Jr. here. He says, other doctrines such as the supernatural plan of salvation, the Trinity, the substitutionary atonement theory, and the second coming of Christ are all quite prominent in fundamentalist thinking. Such are the views of the fundamentalists, and they reveal that he is opposed to theological adaptation to social and cultural change. He sees a progressive scientific age as a retrogressive spiritual age. Amidst challenge all around, he's willing to preserve certain ancient ideas, even though they are contrary to science. Well, Martin Luther certainly did reject clear biblical teaching on multiple foundational truths. Even just looking at the virgin birth, you have to reject Matthew chapter 1, specifically Matthew 23. A virgin shall bear a son. And if Jesus was not born of a virgin, he could not be both fully God and fully man. And thus, he could not be that sinless sacrifice for sin. And as well, he denied, Martin Luther King Jr. denied the divinity of Jesus Christ. And there you have to get rid of the whole New Testament and lots of the Old Testament. For instance, think of John 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus was fully God and fully man, and if he was not fully God and divine, then he could not be that 
perfect and sinless sacrifice. But we have other doctrines that are denied here that are as well, just as essential. The Trinity, of course, substitutionary atonement, the second coming of Christ. The second coming of Christ is the hope for the Christian, the hope of the resurrection, the hope that Jesus will come and take and bring us to a new place. I cannot judge the character of MLK. I did not know him. He was dead before I was born. But I can judge his ideas, his sermons, his theology on Jesus. And what I see here is that he did not hold to Christian teaching. Therefore, he cannot be Christian. Thanks for watching and God bless.